Back in December, I did a news video on the CCS1 adapter for Teslas in North America. It's still not officially released in the US. I have spoken to Tesla mobile service technicians and they don't know when it's going to be available either. This past weekend, one of the members of my local Tesla club, Tesla owners of the NC Triangle, had the coveted and rare CCS1 adapter that he ordered from South Korea. As a recap, if you have a 2020 or newer Tesla, you may have CCS compatibility built into your car. Those that have older ones will probably need a retrofit ECU for the charge port along with a software update. Supposedly, Tesla will be offering the adapter plus the hardware needed for the older cars in one package. Sort of how when you get the Homelink accessory, it includes both the parts and the installation. The rumor price is around $250. Here is the box. And flipping up the lid, we find the adapter inside. Compared to the Chatamo adapter, this is relatively tiny. It is a straight through adapter without any conversion needed, like on the Chatamo adapter. And as you can see, the small side goes into the Tesla port. And the large side is where the CCS plug gets inserted. When attached to the car, it will get locked into place so you don't have to fear it getting stolen. If you have a Tesla that supports CCS, see my previous video in the upper right for how to check. You can purchase the CCS adapter from outside the US. There are a couple of ways. One is a link to Haramio for $309. And here's the website. This also includes free shipping on this order. You can just order it and the adapter will be shipped to you. It's a little pricey, but it's the easiest method. I'll place the link in the video description below. The FAQ has answers to some common questions. A slightly less expensive way to order is from Tesla in South Korea. The catch is that you need a service to send it from South Korea to the United States, which Tesla will not do. I have the link in the video description along with the instructions. Basically, you need to set up a shipping account with a company, for example, Delivered Korea, which ships Korean products to the United States. Once you have created an account which has the shipping information to the United States, you can then go to the Tesla South Korean website, which is shown here. Log into the website with your Tesla login information. Use the shipping address to Delivered Korea. And then I heard that sometimes using certain credit cards may cause problems. Some people have reported using a different credit card from their Tesla account should work. After you process this, Tesla will then ship it to Delivered Korea and then they will send it to you. This method costs about $285 with shipping. Whether this is worth saving $25 is up to you. For those with Teslas that are not compatible with CCS1, you have to do some DIY. I will post a link to the Tesla Motors Club message thread that discusses the procedure. You need an updated ECU board for the charging port, and this you can get from the service center if you're lucky, if they have it in stock. Then you have to do some modifications to get it to work and then install it in the car. Personally, I'm not sure I want to go through the effort of doing this since my Model 3 is a 2018 and will definitely need to be modified. 
Most likely in the next few months, Tesla will be rolling out the CCS adapter and upgrade program in the US. I'm guessing it will be probably closer to the fall. Well, that wraps up this CCS1 adapter update. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.